Wii News and Reviews. Hi, I'm Patrick Kessler. And I'm Joseph McAulty. And welcome to Wii News and Reviews for August 25th, 2008. We have a jubilee of stories for you today. We're going to talk about House of the Dead, Overkill, Madden 09, and Overlord Dark Legend. Dumb people. Uh... Nintendo is being sued yet again, this time by Hillcrest Labs. They announced on August 21st that they were suing Nintendo over a patent infringement on their wand-like motion controller. Hillcrest claims Nintendo copied off of their handheld three-dimensional pointing device. They have even gone as far as asking the U.S. International Trade Commission to ban import of the Wii. Even though you probably haven't or ever will buy a Hillcrest Labs product, we here at Wii News and Reviews ask that you join us in boycotting them. We shop. Roundup. This week's We Shop releases boasts Mega Man on the NES, Neo Turf Masters, a Neo Geo golf game, which is horrible, and Midnight Pool on WiiWare. I'd just like to say that rather than download any of these games, I would jump out of a plane without a parachute over concrete. Hot news. Still wanting DVD playback in your Wii? Well, now you can have it with the new Homebrew channel. Using the Twilight hack, you can install the Homebrew channel and then launch an application on your Wii called mPlayer, which allows DVDs to be played back in your Wii without any hardware modification. If you'd like information on how to do this, check out WeBrew.com. Game of the Week. This week's Game of the Week is Madden 09, and we'll tell you why in our 30-second review. The most hard-hitting action-packed football game is back. Madden's got some exclusive Wii features that makes this game a must-buy. Firstly, it's got the basic Madden stuff like online play, franchise, superstar creator, and minicamp. But in the Wii version, you get a party mode with multiplayer minigames, a trivia game, and 5-on-5. Five 5-on-5 five. Five five is just like NFL Blitz and could be a separate game in and of itself. It's simple and yet so fun. New to the franchise is Call Your Shot mode, which is fun to do and brag about. The controls are less motion sensitive than previous years, which is a good thing, and all play controls are for noobs. This game gets a 9 out of 10 for its fantastic improvements and a new 5 on 5 mode. We oui. accessories. What? Logitech has introduced its new Speed Force wireless racing wheel, which will be fully compatible with the new Need for Speed Undercover when it is released this November for the Wii. It features built-in gas and brake controls on the Wii for an easy one-piece design, and all you have to do is plug in a USB receiver to the back of the Wii, and you're ready to play. This excellent piece of material comes for the price of $99.99. Upcoming games. Black magic. Violence. The hardcore you've been waiting for. The House of the Dead Overkill. House of the Dead <coughs> Overkill is an exclusive rail shooter designed specifically to take advantage of the Wii's capabilities. Pistol whip jaws or cave some heads in with a stock of your pump action shotgun. New features include slow mofo time to get that perfect gory headshot and evil eye mode to provide you with the opportunity to send the environment into an inferno. Just another great game to add to your games to buy in 2009 list. Look for it, March 31st, 09. News and reviews. Overlord, Dark Legend, not to be confused with the Xbox 360 title, Overlord, is a new game built exclusively for Wii from the ground up that utilizes limited motion controls so it does not destroy the gameplay value. Matt Wales of IGN UK said, Its in-game engine offers some truly stunning visuals, and went on to say, When we say it looks very similar to the Xbox 360 title, we mean it literally. 
In the game, your objective is to roam the land and wreak havoc and destroy anything in your path. To help you, you control small minions whom do most of your dirty work for you. Beyond the death and destruction, Codemasters, the publisher, is also promising a much bigger focus on the puzzles of the game. You'll be able to pick up this great title around June 2009. Fan Mail Pulling out some fan mail this week. Neil asked, There apparently is going to be a competition among the sales of Rock Band 2 and Guitar Hero World Tour. Which game would you recommend, given that the Rock Band has an award-winning game and that Guitar Hero is giving a fresh, new experience? Well, the Guitar Hero franchise is bringing new and much-needed features to the Guitar Hero franchise on Wii. For one... It's going to have online, which is great, which it already had. Two, they're bringing a me exclusive mode, so you'll be able to jam along as your me, and an air drum mode, where you'll be able to jam with just the Wii remote and the nunchuck, much like Wii Music. And also they have announced that it will have downloadable content, as well as the features of all the other versions of Guitar Hero. Harmonix has announced zero features for Rock Band 2 on Wii. So, therefore, our pick is Guitar Hero World Tour, hands down. News and Reviews Thanks for watching this episode of Wii News and Reviews. Remember, if you send us a video, we're not going to watch it. Don't forget to not comment and unsubscribe. Thanks, and have a great day. On WiiWare, I'd just like to say that if I was dangling from the edge of a cliff, struggling to hold on, and this game opened up its cover to me and said, just grab my cover, I'd let go with, with the other hand so I'd, I'd die.